Some of the records that we're talking about are as old as from 1883, and they are being boxed up and moved out from the safety deposit vault here in downtown New Orleans. It is a treasure hunt to detail New Orleans history from trade at the port to the creation of some Mardi Gras crews. Box by box, a century's worth of New Orleans history is being moved out of the Hancock Whitney Bank Vault. Inside of their attic on Gravier Street, there are still tens of thousands of pieces of paper left to move. Some have been shelved for more than 130 years. So you have a sense of pride that we're able to maintain these documents, sense of mystery in the fact that we're not sure what is in there. The stacks include generations of safety deposit boxes, city building plans, and documents creating Mardi Gras crews, pieces of New Orleans history that date back to 1883. New Orleans was founded as a port city. So I'd imagine a lot of the cotton trade, a lot of the commodity trades that happened back then. And we were a center of commerce for the entire country back then. This treasure hunt has a practical purpose too. The vault is being sold and Hancock Whitney has moved to a new modern center on Poydras. But before the bank can move on, they will spend the next year looking back and sorting history one box at a time. See if we can hopefully contribute something back to the history and preserving the history of New Orleans. The bank has hired specialists to archive the documents and they said some of them can't be shared because of privacy concerns, but those that can could land in museums and libraries for centuries to come. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.